not many 14-year-old girls are hardcore rugby fans. Fewer still have their own website dedicated to the sport. Ruve Meyer is the exception. At age 13, she came up with the idea to create a website where fans could vote on their Springbok dream team. Well, I was talking with my dad about who I believe should be in the Springbok team and we were arguing and I thought that other fans in South Africa think that this guy should be in and I wanted to show him that but and then I thought of the idea that you can have a site where fans have their say and fans show who they want in the team. While the website is in its infant stage, it already has over 1,300 registered users and Maya is constantly thinking of ways to improve the user experience. Well, we're hoping just to add new ideas to it because this is quite simple still. But we have ideas that we want to add as soon as possible to get the people to come back because you don't change your Springbok team every day. Maya's affinity for IT and passion for rugby drove her to email Cape Town's mayor Patricia DeLille and Springbok legend Francois Pinot with ideas for sporting charity events. Um, I was just thinking of Rugby Athletics Day because people would love to see who's the fastest between Brana Banna and Bjorn Wasson and then also seeing who's the strongest prop. So just that for charity, having a 100 meter event. And then the other one was uh, I don't know if you've s there's an ad where they show um, three internationals, one weekend, one city. And I think it would be great if we could um, with it, do games against England, soccer, rugby, cricket, and then one weekend in Cape Town, uh, hopefully first, which would be great for our city. Mayor's story shows that there are few barriers to entry in the digital space and going forward she hopes her website can reach 10,000 registered users including the Springbok players themselves.